Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry for that. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our today's session. My name is Benson Miner, and I will be your lead trainer today. So let's take a few minutes to familiarize ourselves with the chat box, uh, where we'll be chatting with my Apple moderator, Crystal Alice Atieno, and you'll be, he, she'll be interacting with you, answering your question, uh, your queries, and also giving you some discussion topics. So kindly let's keep us uh, engaged in the chat box, and uh, with any question that you may be having, any query, any comment, or any contribution, feel free to use the chat box and uh, you can interact with us live. And I can see that we have a champion here who is uh, Jennifer Ocheng, joining from uh, CIA Summit. Welcome, Jennifer. Today you are our champion. I hope you are so energetic, being an early morning. Uh, welcome, Zippy Kamande, who is, was wondering, Hakuna Sauto. Sorry, so Zippy, I had a mistake and report mute on my side. But I hope now you can hear me well and you can also see my screen clearly. So today we will be discussing about how we can create a digital marketing strategy. And one thing I can like to tell you is that uh, everything that uh, whatever distinguishes uh, just a doer and a, and a successor or a doer and a champion is the strategy that they do. Remember, we have many people in the same uh, businesses and also in the same line of duties. You have some people who are doing the, exactly the same tactic, but you find that people get different results and the different results are brought by the different uh, strategies that you need. When you're doing the traditional marketing, like when you are doing the face-to-face, office-to-office, or we call it the code calling, the code uh, visits, and also the marketing sales and marketing strategies that were used earlier, we usually used also to have strategies. And this is not different with the digital marketing because you have to come up with strategies. And with the strategies, you can learn and you can also come up with a clear way or a clear footpath that will help you achieve your objectives and your goals. So we will be discussing the agendas in our today's topic. And this is how we first have to introduce ourselves and familiarize yourself with what is the digital marketing and why we should be using digital marketing, why we need the digital marketing on our side, and also discover the digital marketing channels that we can use and their benefits and the uh, good does and don'ts, and also with the uh, uh, what with the uh, line of way of work and also the results that how they give us the results, and then finally we'll come and uh, we'll come up with a good digital marketing plan a plan that will help us achieve our goals and our objectives. So feel free to engage us. And also let me visit back to the chat, chat box. I see who is joining us. I can see Austin Odo is joining us from Nairobi. Welcome, Austin. I hope you are so energetic. Uh, just tell us what business you deal with and also your energy levels on count of one to five. My energy level today is 4.99. And the 0 0.1 is uh, will be gaining as we progress because I hope I know this uh, session will be one interesting one. So also you can send you the link. You can share the links with your colleagues, with your friends, and also with your family and all anybody that uh, you know your contacts, and encourage them to join. We learn together because uh, the more we learn together, we say knowledge shared is uh, knowledge. Uh, widened. Thank you very much. And let's continue with the topics that you are discussing. I can see that Zippy is from Kamande, or oh, sorry, is from Nairobi, a sales champion and also a team leader. Oh, welcome Zippy. I know that this now you are on the best place to be. And I know that you'll come up with a good strategy that will help your team, if your team leader, you help your team come up with uh, more results and improve the results and also bring more conversions on your business. So we are saying that we are going to look at the three agendas. And before we go to the topics, uh, I would like uh, to take a few moments and sign up to a mentorship program that is being brought by Google, where you will be signed, assigned a digital marketing specialist to hard hold you and give you a one-on-one -on -one mentorship and how you can improve your digital marketing skills and also your, your online skills. And this is a free mentorship program. If you have yet, if you are yet to sign up to it, kindly use the link that my moderator will be sharing on the chat box and you can sign up and wait for, the Google, for Google uh, to uh, contact you. So to the first topic, uh, it's an introduction to the digital marketing. 
I remember digital marketing have come up with the lies of the internet. Before the internet era, there used to be the word of mouth marketing, the media marketing where you would go to the radio stations and also you go to other places like you do the placards to market your place, you employ hundreds and hundreds of uh, foot soldiers, and also you even brought things that it was a very expensive way of marketing. And then with the onset of the internet, there came also uh, good benefits of an easier way to interact and reach to the customers, and that is what we call it uh, digital marketing. So uh, let's look at the opportunities that can bring uh, can be brought with uh, by being online. And uh, let's take a few seconds and uh, the chat on the inter, uh, in the chat box on what benefits you think can be of help to your business or to what you are working on by being online and how can you can being online help your business i'll be going coming back to that as we progress but uh, let's see now the statistic here we have quite a very intriguing uh, statistics that you find that uh, there are over 7.747 million uh, sim connections in sub-sahara africa and when we are seeing sub-sahara we are seeing the East African, we have taken from South African, East African, and a part of West African. And all the Sub-Saharan Africa, there is around more than 7 million, 747 million SIM connections. So you find that when you can contact people, there's a people that you can contact to and you can reach to, and uh, it will be more than that. And out of that, 91% of South Africans own the mobile phones with 80% in Kenya and Nigeria, respectively. And this statistic can change. Remember that these statistics were taken back in 2020. So now we are in 2021. Almost everyone has a phone. You find that these days, even uh, the kids at home, they are left with their phone, that these are the kids' phones when they want to contact someone. And also we have the Wi-Fi and also the internet. So you find that we have a potential of reaching up to 80% of the population in Kenya specifically and to pitch to them what we do and what we sell. So it's a good way to approach people other than using the physical and one-on-one -on -one marketing interactions to reach out to the people. There is also 2.5 billion uh, smartphones uh, globally as of 2020. And with this, we can see that 6% uh, of the searches globally are via mobile phones. You find that uh, when you do say that we come at a point where we tell you we do your content which is mobile friendly. Remember, even most of us, I know some of us are use, listening to this YouTube channel or YouTube live session via a mobile phone, not even necessarily a laptop or a computer. So the mobile phone has uh, made it easier to reach people and interact with people. Because at any time, any, even when you're walking, you can access your internet, you can access your phone, and you can access the internet world. We have answers at pretty much at our fingertips. When you have a query, like you want to know something, the easiest way you do is you go to Google. You just Google something. And that's why you see that you got a, even some musician, like I can know in the local dialect, say that we we'll Google something like hey, to tell Google. So these things is like now every answer, whatever you want to look for, is at your fingertips. You just have to Google it or to go to your phone, internet, and search for it. And you get a wide range of answers. So you have the power to do this. At the, we can uh, get this statistic right. Remember, statistics are just statistics until we make it to use and they bring results. And with the statistics, they can guide you on how to create or to come up with good results. Out of that, we can also see that 80% uh, of sales come from 20, uh, we come of all the sales, we saw that the research suggests that 80% of sales come from only 20% of the population of most brands. You mind that if you have a foreign of one million, you only get uh, your 80% of the sales from the 20% of that population. So this suggests that in order for businesses to stay relevant and drive sales, they must connect with their target and they have to connect with their target audience. You have to build a relationship and build a rapport where now you can interact with that uh, audience so that you can be able to convert them to be on your side. Or it can be challenging at some time. This task is more of a reach than ever before. And it's even easier with the onset of the internet and also with the onset of uh, something we call the mobile phones and also the SIM cards and all that. You can now easily reach to people. Sometimes you can say it's challenging to connect with all your target audience. 
But these days, it's an easy way with using the social media, the Google My Business, even the WhatsApp, the contacts list, the messages, the phone call. It's easier even to be able to interact with your audience and also to know what they want and their preferences so that you can adjust accordingly. So you can reach more people globally and also you are not, not limited to a physical location. So by being online, you can be found in more by more potential customers. One thing we have said that and if you are not there, people may use other businesses for as your competitors. So if you are not on the online and they are online, what do you do? You have competitors who are already online and these people will now take advantage and move a step forward, a step ahead of you. Before you get back to the internet, you find that people had already made sales from the from the internet. So you have to one thing to come up with is you have to expand your customer base. Uh, people from all over the world can find you online, and it will be twenty four hours, seven days a week. And uh, anytime who enter goes online, they can find your business there. Even if you have marketed closed, they can find that they can learn about you even when you are not closed. But only that to know that you'll be even open at this point, so that they can visit if they want to give. A, a, a physical visit. People now go to search engines to look for businesses, products, and services. Remember, even you, I, even as I speak here, if I need something like a good shoes, I will first of all have, do a survey online and try to look at people like what is the shoes, what are the best shoes, the places we have the best uh, prices for this shoe, and also the places where they have like uh, the best trade shoes and all that, the original shoes and all that, you look at the rating, you learn more about a product before you even go to purchase it through online. And if you are there present online, you have more chances for people to visit your store or even to order it online if you have an e-commerce platform. So this is just a way to deal with it. And by being online, you can also get to reach people. There's another way that you can benefit from being online. And that is learning about your customers. So by being online, you are able to access and leverage analytical tools uh, from various platforms. We have the Google Search Console. We have the uh, the social media pages analytics. You also have the Google My Business. Uh, dashboard here you can get all the analysis and with these tools you can conduct consumer or market research and keep up with the customer demands and trends of the market you are able to learn what the customers want at that specific moment and what the customers may be wishing what is trading in fact if you are in for example we say fashion market uh, industry you know that uh, fashion comes and go and comes and go there is different fashion at different times so if you want to be traded to keep up with the trade you have to be online and when you are online you can be able to be on time and also a step ahead of your competitors and that way you can able to now be relevant to the market so with the google marketing platform you can gain access to various tools and make the most of your marketing you have uh, google offers some free tools for measurement we have the google analytics where is a site at App Analytics, where you can get audience who get to your site, you can get acquisition where like where they come from, where is the most of the searches come from, is it within your locality, is it from a certain city or a certain location. It can also give you uh, analytics or insight on the behavior of the customer, on what they do, when they are on your website, do they just uh, scroll up or do they just click in and click out or do they just go and uh, now go start uh, discovering and also moving around your website so you can get the activities and you are also able to optimize uh, by testing variation of your site and apps. We have another analytics tool, we call the YouTube analytics for those in YouTube. We have the Firebase analytics for applications. We have Google Ads that they give you analytics. We also have Tada Studios. And also you have, as many other, you have many tools that they give you survey to get fast and rapid opinion from the real people. So these are ways that you, the through marketing tools and also market uh, smart marketing. You are able now to interact with people and also get to know and learn your audience. Let me take a few seconds to just check on the chat box and see what is going on there. I can see that we are a bit dormant on the chat box. So kindly let's uh, interact with the mic moderator and also let's invite uh, others to join our session and we learn together. So let's keep vigilant and also keep uh, our moderator engaged. 
So we are saying that you can learn about your customers. Another benefit you can do is gaining insights with social media analytics. How do you gain insights with social media analytics? Remember that of all the channels that we have for the digital marketing, social media is the one that is majorly used and most populated and also more pot uh, potentially uh, beneficial to us. So most social media platform offers analytic built in tools the example is here in Facebook and Twitter, you can see that there's analytics. You can get to the back end and get the analytics about how your page is performing against other uh, aspects and also other topics. You can find out the demographics of the people who are interacting with your social media accounts, what time of the day they get you get the interaction and the type of posts that drive the most engagement. And now you can now tune your engagement in such a way that it will encourage more engagement. Remember, with more engagement, there's more conversions and there's more benefits. Insights like this helps you understand your customer well. And they also help you make your marketing materials more relevant to the audience that you are targeting and also able to connect with more meaningful customers, not just any other person. You can be able now to connect with the people that will be meaningful and beneficial to you as they will be most likely convert into a sale. So how do you build your uh, audience profile? You can build your audience profile through the uh, four, you can use the four insights and also four uh, steps to build your infect profile. And you have to uh, take consideration the content that you do, the audience that you are, you are reaching to, and also the conversions and the traffic. So with audience, you can ascertain who you are, we are reaching who our customers are and how you can profile them and connect with them more successfully. Then you have to look at the traffic source, discover the routes that they use to take to reach to your site. Do they use the search engine? Do they use the social media channel? Or do they use just uh, adverts or Google ads? Do they use uh, any other channel that they can use? You have to, you are able now to learn uh which traffic source they are so that you can maximize on that then the content you can learn how a customer reacting to your messages are you connecting with them successfully do they like your content which type of content do they like engage most and which type of content do they have the least views or least interaction or least reactions and you can adjust accordingly and with all that now you can learn the conversions uh, the uh, customer taking action for example uh, the post that you are doing on social media, Facebook, bringing conversion or they are just bringing like uh, just between uh, people interacting and reading and going uh, well, swiping across that page or do they really click the call to action button? Do you put the call to action button and is it being you benefits to this? So all these are the things that you benefit from. When you use the Google, you use the, you are in online and you are also finally able to communicate and support your customers. Being online means that you can communicate with your customer easily and quickly. People are communicating with businesses through online listing, like on social media, on Google My Business, so, and also you can also communicate them on the apps if you're using the apps as your for your um, uh, business. They can also communicate with you through the reviews and also through the the interaction like the ads the interaction so you are able to communicate with the customer on real time so communicating with customers on social media also have uh, has added advantages that you get to know your customers demographic interests and locations you are also able to improve your customer interact services where you're interacting with the uh, and getting feedback through reviews building credibility and also customer loyalty are also brought in when you are using the social media to interact with your customer. You are also able to uh, customers often use reviews to make purchasing decision. As I had said, that the more you get the reviews, the more people will find you authentic, and also they find you like they like your products because they have seen like people have been interacted with you and they have liked what you are offering. So we say that earlier on traditional marketing strategies. People use the word of mouth, but now there's no word of mouth. The word of mouth is now the reviews. The reviews act like the word of mouth on the internet or on the online, where people can see what they are talking about, what they are saying about you, and what benefits, uh, what they succeeded, what they like most about you. And this will drive more traffic to you as you continue. So for now, we have done with the first agenda of introducing ourselves to digital marketing. And I will be posing for a question. As I go back to the 
chat box and learn what people are saying and what the interaction are here. So we can see that uh, we have uh, Austin Odu saying that I'm an education consultant. My energy level is for L. Thank you. I can see that we are almost there. And I know now that you are already ignited and you are almost to five. Actually, for me now, I'm approaching 5.1. And I'm really energetic and also really enthusiastic to learn with you. So keep chatting on the chat box. Let's keep interacting here. And also let's keep uh, uh, keeping our moderator busy with questions, queries, and contributions as we progress with our session. So let's go to the second agenda, the digital marketing channels. So we have seen that we, 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 there is this digital marketing where now you can transact and also interact with the potential customers and also make your build your business, uh, your blood there. So what channel can you use? What channel can you consider to do the digital marketing? So some of the key channels to consider for digital marketing are the search agent optimization or the SEO. Uh, this is uh, where you optimize your website so as it is shown up more often in search agents there you use the keywords and we are going to build on each and everyone and how we can benefit with this so so the search agent uh, optimization this is a free tool uh, where you just have to optimize your site if it's a website if you are google my business site, a website site and you make sure that it's well optimized in such a way it's up to date uh, with more information, given more information, relevant uh, content about your products. And this one will help you rank you higher in search engine. And when people search for you, they'll find you earlier. There's also the other part we call the search engine marketing or SEM. This is where you uh, pay for advertising to appear in search engine. And the payment of this advertising is uh, can be either paper click mostly they go for paper click uh, 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 arithmetics where when someone clicks at your ad uh, or an ad that you have paid for you that's when you'll be charged and when they don't click you'll be not you'll not be charged there's also the social media marketing where you use social media networks to bring traffic or attention to the and also to reach people and social media marketing can be uh, there's some sites in the social media marketing that can be a site for themselves where you can just interact on that page or on that social media place and also they can also use be used as a traffic driver to the site or to your website or to your site or any other site that you want to people to reach to and you have to also have the display marketing where we have these are the online advertising in many different formats or in many, in many different forms and uh, they come across the internet you find that you can you have ever opened the maybe a blog or a video or something and there is just a pops a video or a picture or a something about a certain for example we are familiar with the odd bets for those who are in uh, football and also anything related to football you just open an app for example if you want to know which pictures are on this day for epl you find that when you open like uh, for example a, a site called go live you find that when you just open up the, the pops a uh, betik or something or cg or bet or anything so, so that the display marketing they just pop in and they give you like you are able to learn them you also have the email marketing where you collect and use email addresses to communicate with your users uh, we have the email campaigns that uh, people can uh, get to newsletters and all information about your products and they can sub and uh, opt to unsubscribe you also have the content marketing and by content marketing is creating and sharing different types of content for example pod podcasts uh, blogs video short videos uh, skits and all and uh, as, as many other videos like the drawings and all that and they photograph to attract attention and drive traffic to your site so these are some of the main we have many for uh, channels for my digital marketing but the six are one of uh, the main ones that most people use and most people are familiar with so one thing is let's get started with search agent marketing so as you can see on your screen with search aging or with search marketing, we get that, uh, for example, when you do a search, if you need a, a shoe or a pizza near you, what you do is you type. So there are levels of things that you have. When you type, that is what we call a query. The thing that goes there at the top bar where you have typed, like uh, 
uh, delicious of uh, Italian pizza near me or something like uh, good shoes near me and all that. Now that's what we call the side. The keywords matches with what people want. So these are the people who are their queries when people they put, they put the query on the search. Uh, Google uses the bots to interact and also look for the terms that, or the, the keywords that matches with the query. And if your keywords matches with the query, you, have, you are uh, able to appear or your business is able or your product is able to appear on search engine as on the first page. And then we have the second part. After the query music, you have now the ads. You can see those people, that, uh, those uh, links that are written with a board uh, AD or also sponsored. Sometimes they come as sponsored. So these are the paid text or the paid ads. And people use the keywords or search terms to search for a specific product. And also then they match. Your keywords matches with the, the, the one that you have. Uh, you have. Uh, we, we, say, we say that you have better don't know you have put a, you have what we call it is the one that is getting lost so we find that when the keyword matches and your ad appears when now that that uh, person searching for it uh, clicks on that that's when now you'll be billed and also you'll be able to pay for that ad or you have the click but if they don't click and they skip you you don't have to pay for that and then there's the other one that the other organic search listing that comes just after the ad and they mostly come in green and this uh, the the ad traffic from your site do and paid and free relevant listing so you have to remain relevant updated and this is where you say that we say that you have to optimize your sites to appear on the organic list and remember that on such engine we have many pages we have tens and hundreds of pages and the way you are or business will appear on the first page is according to how you have optimized and also how you have used the keywords well to come up with the on the top list so let's uh, get started with search engine optimization so to get started with search engine optimization you have you can uh, get a tool that can help you to with search engine optimization and that's called the search engine or google search console if uh, my moderator will be giving a link to search engine console where you will link your search the console you create a, you link your domain verify your domain and now you can be able to navigate on the search engine console and get suggestion and also directions on how to to get ranked on the Google search engine. So Google search console is a free tool that will be able to more accurately tell you how you rank on Google search. Uh, you have to submit your content on Google, monitor how you are doing in searches, and also send alerts on critical issues. If you have any critical issues, you are sent a uh, suggestion and alerts on how to improve on that. You also help Google find you. So we say, find that uh, with search engine console, you are able now to help to identify if, if there are any issues or error in your website and this will make it hard for google to rank you higher so you will be get that uh, critical that alert to tell you there's something wrong with your site and you can collect it on real time and uh, lose less time or less uh, business and gain more uh, on the businesses another thing is you are able to help provide google context with search engine control console you you should consider submitting a sitemap you have to give a sitemap this will help the google bots understand the structure of your site and so when it comes to being indexed or being uh, ranked google better understand how your site links together and this way you are, can achieve this by submitting a sitemap where you give them a site map where they will be able now to run and navigate your, uh, your website very well without much hurdles. You also promote your site on and offline, and then you have to share new content. You have to remain relevant. You have to be up to date. You give you share new contents, and uh, this way you'll be able now to be ranking higher and also optimizing. Then you have to optimize your content. And this is next in look creative and also we have to come up with a creative, unique and also uh, and also capturing and uh, variable content that your users really want. You have to make it uh, more engaging 
And this you can make sure that you have to come up with a content that is visual, attractive. You can use images, links. You have to use links so that uh, people can maybe get to links and also interlink with you. And Google highly value useful and the fresh content that help its users find what they are looking for. You have to create a unique, when you are coming up with a content, there are steps that you can come up with. One is creating a unique and accurate page title. Then you have to create a logical titles and snippets, and then you have to use headings, tags, and to emphasize on important text. So you can find the hashtags, you have the hashtags, you can also come up with the uh, boarding, the italics, or the linking with some terms that are very important where people can link and learn more about this. And this way you'll be able to interact with people as you engage. So we have some tips to optimize your tips. One thing is to learn the keyword search. So when you're conducting a keyword research, you will discover and understand what words or phrases people are looking for when they are searching for products and services that are related to your business. The title and the meta description are important because they both are used by the search engine to give actual search results to the specific pages. So the title is used to generate the first line of show. And then the meta description is used to generate the few short sentences that follow when you search, for example, or you get a link, a suggestion link, your first thing comes is the title of that uh, for that title. And then it comes to the um, a, a short sentence or a paragraph with two sentences. And then you are that the, that meta description. And that sentence that comes to the search engine page or the home page of the search engine are the one that now can capture you to click into that link and learning more about it. So you have to come up with good and also relevant and logical uh, meta topic and uh, title and also meta description that you attract people to click onto your link and learn more. Then you have to publish useful, high quality content, understand your customer and optimize your content to serve their business needs. Remember that uh, you have now given a good title and a good meta description that have attracted someone to click. When they click and they find that the, you have just a dormant or something that is just a basic or something not attractive, it's just lighting, lighting, there's no images, there's no videos. So the content is so boring. They will just not even go to the past the few sentences. They will just keep that and go back to the searching to find another page that is more relevant or more capturing. So you have to come up with a good and high quality content that you keep capture that you get the interest of the people and also capture the attention of that person going through that research, uh, that content and they can learn more about the product and also learn more about what you're offering and uh, this way they will now even be able to get a higher chance of uh, getting the clicks and conversion from that and then you have to make your web page such a thread by where then you say that we also want to make your page mobile friendly remember that we say that 80 percent in fact is more than 80 percent of people access internet through their mobile phone and very few uses the laptop so you have to make sure that your page your site is mobile friendly in such a way that it's loading fast it's not delaying much when you are loading and also the loading speed is good, the images and also the optimization, the imaging, the planning and all that is good, is so much authentic that uh, people can navigate through the mobile phone very easily. And there's a way to make sure that you are such as a uh, your site is uh, mobile friendly and you can just do that by testmysite.google.com and this way you can now get to know your site speed and also know that. So don't try to speed up the process of or people you find that when they try to do the search engine optimization it really takes time and when you get a specialist or a digital marketer who is telling you that it uh, just take a few days to get on top just know that we are lying to you. It takes time and you don't try to speed the process of trying to sneak techniques like you word star, keyword stuffing on your web page to, to get the keywords right because that can get you flagged and also you can lose more than you are gaining. So you have to be patient and also you, as you keep on raising and it is a way as a slow but a good way process to get on top of the search engine and with this you are able now to be relevant and also to give authentic information. Then 
let's look at another topic of how we can build our visibility with google my business as we have discussed there are many areas of search that you focus your effort to build visibility and a particular and effective area would be the local business listing in search results and a high number of such searches every day are local and if you have customers that come you engage with you personal and locally they should be considered uh, because these are the principles that you bring more conversion and they'll be able to visit your site so we have the google my business site uh, where we customer we are with google my business it allows you to create a free business listing that can make you uh, up in search consider this as a local CEO. so i can um, for example allow me to take a few seconds as i go through the chat box to try to demonstrate to you what we mean by getting into search engine or to google my business and also uh, the way the platform on how to get the, to navigate the search engine and i can see we getting some views here welcome richard sales finance consultant glad to attend the second session welcome richard and i'm very glad that you have been able to join us you are not late and uh, you're just on time to learn more and get more capturing about the how you can navigate the six channels that we have for digital marketing we can say we have richard at from transglobal communications company we offer content marketing for niche corporate clients. Welcome, Richard, and uh, feel at home. Ruth Bather, I'm Ruth from the Financial Consultants. Welcome very much, and uh, we are happy that you are joining us. Let's keep engaging on the chat box. Feel free to ask any question and that you may be inquiring or to add any comment or any addition that we can share with the audience here at the chat box, and we'll be glad for your contribution. So I was I was telling you that I want to share something, and uh, let me share something here. So I hope you can see my screen well. Let me see whether you can see my share screen. Yes. So now let's say that uh, I'm uh, I need to to buy a good laptop and a high efficient laptop. So I'll come here at Google, a uh, Google page or Google search engine page, and then I will just type. Uh, uh, you can say a uh, uh, good high. Uh, sorry. The best high performance laptop, for example, let's use that. And now this is how it comes up to. Remember, as I said, yeah, what is this is uh, this is where the query comes in, where you have the high performance laptop. So this is my search query. I want to look at high performance laptop. And you find that uh, you get uh, the channels where you find the the ads. You can find the ads here, the shop. Shop the best high performance laptops. You can find that the first thing are coming out from the the the, the listing and all that they are the sponsored are uh, this that comes at the top tier of the search engine just below the the search query. And then you have the the optimized the best laptop. So after that you get now the optimized ones that you the the one that will have the green lights. And these are the green lights. They are now these ones that are not. They are not the ads, but they are the sites that are organic but well optimized. I can do another example. We can say the best Air Force shoes near me. So these are type of shoe. And you can get you have suggestion or a suggestion sorry of uh, how you can get the uh, the air shoes. So you have you can get the GG, you can get the different types of channels that are offering these channels and also this. So this is how you learn. And also as I say that uh, this uh, the way you describe the meta, the topic, and the meta description. For example, when you come to this. Uh, to the to for example i can pick one one of the highest ranking you can see for example you have the foster footwear dossier dot k the nike air force so if i that of the topic the one in blue it's nike air force shoes at the best price in kenya so if i that you get at the captured by this topic this is the best price in kenya you are you this is the best price then you learn 
You see the meta description, shop for genuine Nike Air Force shoes at the best price in Kenya today. Place your order today and get this Nike Air Force shoes delivered to your doorstep. So this, you see the meta description is quite uh, engaging and quite attracting. So you get, really, you get uh, tempted to click to that site and learn more. And when you click on that site, now what happens is uh, you get to learn more and also to see now how the site is displayed and how the information is, how interactive it is. And the more you get the interaction, the better you learn and the more you take time to navigate through the site. Then we are looking at Google My Business. My Google My Business listing is where you list your business on Google. And one way to see, I can demonstrate how your business appears on Google is uh, if you want to learn whether your business is on Google My Business. As for example, I can search for example, uh, our organization Africa 118. Let me search 118. When you search Africa 118, you can see it's listed and you find it here. So this is the listing of the Africa 118 that is on the right side of the screen. And you see it's, yeah, it's in Kenya. You get to see photos. You have to get, you can be able to see the images of the outside. The, see outside, you were able to interact with the map where to learn how about. You're able to click on the site, to visit the site, to get the direction, to save or to make even a call from here. It's a, it have the rating and the reviews for four ratings. So you, if you want to receive whether it's genuine, you can create the reviews and learn more about the business. You get the address. Remember, it's also up to date. It is given the hours, like it's seen now, it's also open and it will close at 5 p.m. And uh, up to business, it was one week ago. So it's updated like one week ago. You have the contact that you can call. And also you have uh, COVID-19 updates for businesses where you can get the updates and all that. And also you can see the products that uh, we deal with and all that. So it's an interaction where it's a search engine interaction where people can find you on search engine. And there is this thing. If you click on the image, you can now be able to learn or to see like the physical image. So when you'll be looking for Africa on it, you'll be able to see where it is located. You know it's in the Modidi Road, and you will be even be able to familiarize with the exterior part of it, and also learn to when you see the building, you'll be able to see the team, how the team is, and all that. So this is something that you are interacting with the customers and also getting to understand the business even before you go to the site and also even after you go to the site you learn more you get attracted to learn more from the site so just that that's just an, an example of how, how good my business can help you and uh, can help you gain more and uh, learn more about it uh, to learn more about the business and also attract you on this so let me go back to my sites and uh, i hope that have been uh, uh, well elaborative from my side Let's go back to the tabs and the presentation. So I hope you can see my screen well. Let me see what is going on on the chat box. I can see Austin Odo from Austin Molly's International Solution. Welcome, Austin. Also, Bernard Chalago, welcome for your following. That's very great and I'm very, I appreciate you. And also, let's know how you uh, feel about the team is. You can guys uh, give us the feedback as we progress and let's, 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 let us learn how we can improve the session. So, this is now we call the free marketing kit. Now you're on Google My Business, the free marketing kit. This helps you come up with the uh, posters and relevant materials for your business. And uh, you can create posters and also posts that are relevant and uh, relevant to your business and your category. And you just have to create uh, your account on Google My Business. Uh, marketing kit that is marketing kit dot with google.com that will help you learn, uh, navigate well and also create your posters create uh, relevant posters creatives and the interactive and attractive posts that will help uh, will interact with your customer and uh, let people navigate more on your site so my model will be shared uh, ways to approach our IT road posters that you can use for your business. Then we have, uh, you remember we said that we have search engine optimization and search engine marketing. So what are the differences or what are the what are the differences and also what are the benefits of each other? So we find that uh, search engine optimization in itself is free. 
which of course is the main benefit of it. You pay for nothing, you pay nothing in search engine like Google, and you rank based is a, your rank is based on the relevance of the material that you are dealing or the content that you do, and also the matching of the keywords that you have used with the search query, as I have um, demonstrated. And uh, the other hard is search engine marketing is where you pay, but only when someone actually clicks on your ad. And uh, if your ad serves ten times, but it's only clicked at once, you only pay once. You don't you don't pay for your ads to appear on search engine, but you pay for you when someone clicks on that ad or on that link or on that site. We optimize by sending relevant signals to the likes of Google based on our web page, incoming links, and other factors like reviews. With search engine marketing, we just choose the keywords and bid. You have to bid on keywords, but on search engine optimization, you have to optimize by setting relevant signals and relevant words, relevant content. On the other hand, you have to bid on keywords if you are doing the search engine marketing. And it's much easier to be visible for important keywords than the search engine optimization. Also, in search engine optimization, you can take a lot of time depending on the nature of competition and the type of search query you are trying to learn for you. As I said, that is not an instant thing to do the search engine optimization. It takes time and it will rank higher according to the competition that you are facing and the type of uh, industry that you are in. For example, Ranking on the first page for pizza might take months. However, ranking for pizza restaurant in Nairobi might only take a few weeks as it's more specific and there will be lesser competition overall. So the keywords that you choose are the ones that you direct on the speed and the, the quickness of you ranking. So let's get started with search engine marketing. And we are going to look at how you can create a campaign on in Google Ads. So creating a campaign on Google Ads, we can you have to log in into Google Ads with our Google account. And the Google account is, for example, is the Google My Business that we had, or and a Google account that you have created one. And each ad have, has to start with a campaign. If you sell lots of products, then campaigns help you organize how you promote them each. For example, as a shoe seller, I might have a campaign for men's boots. I might have even a campaign, for example, for the Nike Air Force or type of uh, a certain type of shoes. You can have a campaign for the ladies' shoes and the winter wear things. You can have a campaigns for boots, especially when it's uh, during the rainy season. You can have a campaign for saddles and open shoes if it's during the summer or the hot seasons. As we focus on such eating advertising, you would then select the search network to ensure our ads are shown there. Next, you need to choose a target option. So, for example, selecting your goals, you have to take the target market, the target audience, the also the target location. You might want to choose your city or even specific post code or codes. Like that, you can say you can choose a certain whole city or certain localities. For example, you can see that my ads run only around the car road or around West Ad, or you can see you runs all over Nairobi. You have to choose, so choose the demographic that you want to do with. And then you might, uh, you can also specify time of the day or specific days of the week you want your ads to learn, or on the other hand, not to learn. You will also be given an opportunity to set a budget for your campaign. Then you, after this, you have to pick the right keywords. Picking keywords is incredible, very important for you, uh, for your campaign, and it will help you uh, be able to add the keyword list related to your ad. Remember, these keywords are the ones that you'll be bidding on and the any part who searches or matches with your keywords when they are doing the search query, you now get this and they will appear on the screen and when they click, that's when you pay. You don't have to pay before they click. Then you have to align your keywords with your business goals and you have to manage match types and define your negative keywords. You have to define those negative keywords and then after this, you have to write a comparing advertisement. Keep your headlines in the line with the people on search. And remember the way I have shown you about the, the title, the meta description, and also the content. You have to make uh, come up with a good advertiser, and the content should be relevant. Uh, focus on the uh, focus on the items that you are selling, and also direct to the point and engaging. You have to create an engaging. Uh, content. So search engine marketing helps you reach customized that in search engine and help you reach right people at the right time as we have seen so we have some tips for search engine marketing 
And the one thing is you have to create your keyword list. The relevance of your keyword to an advertisement impacts the click-through rate. That is the CTR, the click-through rates and the, and the quality score of your advertising. The more often you advertise, uh, your advertisement gets clicked, the higher the quality you score and the less you have to pay for your bid position. Remember, the more relevant you are, the less bills it come. So we have also the uh, boost your ad extension. And I may ask, uh, has anyone been familiar with an ad extension? So this is one of the quickest and easiest ways to come uh, to improve your click-through rate, uh, and it's by implementing an ad extension onto your ads. This makes your ad stand out and can add further content to your overall value proposition. And they are also completely free to use. Actually, you can make your ad cheaper in the long run. It even, instead of even being paying for the ad extension, it makes your ad even cheaper uh, than, than before using it. Then after that, after boosting your ad extension, you have to connect your Google Analytics account so that you can get the insights and also the analysis and see how you are performing, where to change, what to stop, which one to suspend and all that. It's also a good idea to connect with the Google Analytics uh, to, so that you can monitor how your Google, uh, your adverts is moving on the search engine and be online and be on the know-how of how you are performing online. Then you have to grow your business on social media. How do you grow your business on social media? As I say that social media is where a lot of people spend their time online. You find that people are either on Twitter, on Facebook, on WhatsApp, on uh, Instagram, on LinkedIn, and it's good uh, top to bottom funnel for marketing. And this is where people mostly get and generate sales from the social media. So one of the benefits is you are able to generate small sales with up to 77% of population in Africa are on social media platforms like Facebook. So it makes a good place to connect with potential customers. You are able to reach new audience. You are able to get new business opportunities and ideas. You are also able to target a certain demographic and also, also able to build relationship and network with your customers as you are going to engage with them on little time. Then you can add, it also add value to your brand. And by adding value, you see that often used by customer service, e.g. the chat box, the quicker you respond, the more the better you are. Remember that you say that this is the place where you can do your, do your customer services and the customer relations on social media. And you have to raise your customer service level through how you interact with people on social media. You can start a two-way conversation through the chat or the chat box or the reply box or even through the messaging, private messaging or the inbox, as you know it. You're also able to show new sides of the business and also build your community. Like the, you have can build a group for your that is relevant to your people for your customers or people that are in, in that industry. You're also able to improve your marketing by understanding your customer better, who they follow, what they follow, what they like, what they dislike. And this can help you get noticed on search, attract more people on your site, and also gain valuable customer insight through social media. So in the social media also, we have two types of social media. We have the organic social media and the paid social media. Where organic social media, you get views, actions, or clicks from posts are free, but uh, the content appears on your business profile and on the people's or on the news feed. For example, if you're on, on your Facebook, the only people who are, or your friends are following your page, can only see that or people who follow the, the interact with that, they are on your news feed and they can now not go further. But if you go to the paid social media, you pay for views, action and clicks, and also your ad can appear in more places. You don't have, it's not restricted to those people who are on your timeline. It goes to even people that are not on timeline and it goes through uh, trying to match people's needs and also people's searches with your products so that it can get more relevant customers. So you can reach anyone, any person without even necessarily having to follow you or to like your page. So you find that with the organic, you are restricted to a certain niche of people, but on paid social media, it's why that you can set at the location also, the location that you want to target on, the demographic, how people you want to, to 
to get your ad or your paid social media uh, uh, posts and also even the type the gender the age group everything like you can set up on the specific that describes your uh, your customer persona so let's get started with social media marketing one thing is you have to identify your target audience through the demographic, the location, the profession, like you have to come up with a good the audience, an idea of what your audience want to be like. Then you have to choose the, your social media channel. Remember that different audience have different likes and also have different channels. For example, if you want to, you are wanting to get target more of corporate, you'd go mostly for the LinkedIn and uh, not Instagram and uh, maybe TikTok or YouTube. If you are on art, you can go to YouTube and also Twitter, Instagram. So you have to match your audience with your channel that you want to hear uh, your audience. If you want looking for teens or those this uh, age of people with this uh, uh, type of uh, maybe income or profession and also their type of behavior, which site can you find them? And then when you get this nice fire site that you can get, Get them you have to post engaging content regularly with that is have photos videos the blog articles that are engaging you can also use infographics and also live broadcast the way that you can interact and capture these people is the uh, the best you can then you have to when you do all that you have to come up with a good uh, social media um, style and you can get a social media marketing tips by setting your goal. Remember that you have to come up with a goal. Then you have to understand your audience, what they want, what do they really need. And then you have to stay consistent and also get regular updates. Not uh, update, not be updating once in a year or once in a month. Be regular. Let remain relevant on that social media. Let people not forget about you. Let me then see, be seeing regularly like, oh, this blood really exists. There's these people really exist. And that's where you can get uh, remain relevant on your audience's minds and also get to engage more with your audience so there are different types of form or forms of contact marketing we see that we have content marketing as another channel and uh, the different forms are the videos we have the videos where you clip the the, the we call these days we are calling the skits that can be used in TikTok, YouTube. We have the V-skits, different type forms of videos that you can engage with people. You have blogs where you write articles and blogs about a product or about some your business line and the relevant blogs that you attract people and get people engaged and give them knowledge about your products. We have the case studies and also the guides. These are some type of the content that you can use to capture and also remain relevant with your people. And with content from your YouTube videos, you find that uh, you can get engaging. Remember that these days we have channels that we can create even more. We have also the podcast where you can give the podcast. We have uh, something like uh, interactive content, like uh, games and all that, that will help you interact with your audience and give them relevant. We have also the content marketing. How do you get started? One thing is you have to come up also, remember that a customer persona is the main, you have gone through the past of customers, do the search engine marketing, you have social, social media marketing, even on the content, you have to build your customer persona. And a good way to start to build your customer example profile. The example, like you come up with a profile of a, the, the, the audience you want, the demographics, the job position, the industry, the AI, their interest and the such and such. Then you have to create different profiles for each customer segment that you have come up with. Then you have to map your user's journey. You have to identify the steps users take from awareness to purchase. What journey do they take? And then think of questions and information required the, for, for any questions and all that, that they are required, that you make them relevant and you give, you have to address them on that content and people can get answered their queries and their, their doubts can be looked upon. Then you have to use content to generate business. Remember that you, any type of marketing you want to generate business at the end of the day. 
So you can uh, facilitate the customer journey. You also can be able to distribute the content on the right channels and reach the right target audience. You can distribute it through the social media, the search engine, or, um, the GMB, or the Google My Business, or Google Business Profile, as is being currently known. Also, you can use your site and all that. And you also to have to bring a call to action button. They doesn't have just to go through the content. They have to take an action like buy now, call us now, contact now, book us now. You have to bring that call to action button where they can click and now take an action after the learning about your products. Remember, this is the way that you only get the conversion from that content and get a meaningful benefits from that. So the content marketing tips, they are very few. You have to use content to facilitate the sales process. Then you have to use storytelling. Remember the content you remember is a storytelling. You have to do a storytelling to engage the audience. Then distribute the content to the maximize reach. You have to use different channels and these different strategies to distribute that content. And then you have to measure your performance and optimize your performance and correct where it is. After the content marketing, we looked at the email marketing. And the email marketing is a great addition to your other digital marketing activities. This is because it builds a customer loyalty and engagement without breaking a bank. And it works well on mobiles too. So one thing you have to do is you have to create a personalized content. And also when you are creating a personalized content, you customize your campaign and create target content. For example, you there's a there are channel or sites that you can create a email campaign that is personalized and every person getting that email will get a personalized by saying personalized we say that for example if i'm called ben the email will come hello ben or hello benson dear benson so you find that this is addressing to me other than just saying dear or or hello this is like you are not being addressed so when you personalize that email you get a personal touch to that customer and they like to learn more because they feel they are the one being addressed. Then you have to collect feedback and service. Make sure you keep track of your customer experience if you want people to engage with your business. And email marketing can help you send customer satisfaction survey to obtain feedback through email campaigns. After you have gotten the now the you have also after you have gotten the feedback and the survey, you are able now to connect with an already engaged audience. Remember when you are engaging with the email campaign, these are some of the uh, customers that subscribed to your campaign, and so they are relevant. They are already uh, they are already interested. So you just have to connect with an already engaged audience, and it's a permission based, which means that your reader must opt into the newsletter or even opt to unsubscribe from the newsletter and it gives you opportunity to communicate on large scale not just necessarily single emails it's on a large scale you can set even 200 emails or more at a go and you communicate they are all personalized and they communicate at a go and by signing up to your email the audience extend an invitation they want to hear from you so it means that they are already interested with your businesses and so you you get uh you get to interact with people so there are some few tips of uh, email marketing and these are like you have to segment and group the listing of relevant content how do the audience want this a type of audience like you can get even some groups or segments of your audience and you can now come up with a good content according to what the audience uh, said relevant to them then you have to keep your campaign short most people like uh, are bombarded with email. Don't write paragraphs and paragraphs. Just put an interactive and short of uh, maybe two to three paragraphs. Uh, not even paragraphs. Like if possible, you can do even two to three or four lines that you give them a capture and make them take an action. Then you have to measure and open click rate to optimize your campaign. So you remember that you have to also measure and also optimize your campaign through analytics and also getting to know the feedback, like to know how it is performing and where you can optimize. Up to that point, we are done with the second uh, agenda. And I would like to visit the chat box to learn what uh, people are saying here. We can see we're also having the Steinberg Lua. I have been part of this program, but I've realized I got lost along the way. Where should I start to chat up with everyone? 
Uh, you are not a uh, lost uh, standby. You can just uh, engage my moderator here and uh, ask question, ask relevant question, and also at the tail end of this session, we we'll give you links to uh, to learning more, where you can learn more about this uh, this uh, trainings we are having, and also you can also get to interact with us and also contact us on our social media channel that we'll be sharing. So stay put, and uh, we we'll, as we are approaching the tail end, you learn more. When the program started, I didn't. Okay, so, uh, so this is uh, one thing I say that uh, you can be able. You can also click on uh, uh, on uh, subscribe button. You can get notifications of these uh, sessions when they are ongoing, and you can join to uh, at all the sessions. They are free. You can join. Uh, you don't have to get permission from us, and you can learn more and remain relevant with the sessions. Thank you very much, uh, Standberg Lua, and uh, feel at home. So if there's no question, let's go now to the final agenda and this is how you can build a um, digital marketing plan. So there are six steps to build a digital marketing plan. That is you have to define a business goal and objective. Then you have to you make sure and you look at your budget and resources that you have. Then you, the target audience that you want, good audience, so that now you can come up with a good and uh, device or channel that you want to work with. Then you have to plan your activities and you set a uh, smart KPIs. So on to the first step is building a business goal. So you find that when you have a goal and objective, you have like set a target. This is what I want to achieve. This is a target. You want to achieve this. This is the goal and objective. And for the objective, it will help you achieve the goal. So for example, you can say that uh, Modi is a hair present. Well, I can say that uh, we have Crystal Atieno, which is have a salon or hairdressing business. So what can her goal be? Her goal can be, I want to achieve to bring more customers through indoor i want to bring more customers to my business and people to learn more about the business so what will be the objective the objective will be driving traffic to my to my to driving traffic to my premises so you find that uh, objective will help you achieve the goal so business goals should align with the online objectives and I can say that uh, for the business goals, for example, if you want to make more people aware of your existence, what can you align with the objective is increasing online reach and awareness. If you want to sell more products, what can you do? You can increase online reach and awareness and also increase website sales. So if you want to, more prof to sell more products, you have to increase. The objective is to increase more, uh, more website sales so that you can sell more online. If you want to get found on by peop, more people, then you have to increase social media pages, likes and follows, and also drive traffic to, to, to social media and also with my business. If you want to get more returning customers, what do you do? You have to increase more traffic to your website. So you find that you have to align with each other. And the, as I say, that the objective helps you achieve the goal. For example, if you want to increase traffic to website, you have to increase the sales on it. So these are examples of the online objectives and that help you achieve the goals of different types of goals. Then after you have come up with a goal, a good goal and a good objective, what do you do? You have to look at your budget. You have to make sure that you set your strategy, uh, your plan in a way that is in line with your budget. You don't have to start a, start a plan that you get stuck midway because you have de been depleted by your budget or you even under budget in such a way that you are under budget in such a way that uh, people now you just getting minimum minimum benefit from the from the campaign or from the plan after you have come up with a good budget you have aligned your budget and the resources that you have with the goals and objective then you have to come and consider your audience and by considering your audience, you have to consider the two types. Uh, that is the demographic information for their location. You have to identify which location you want to target and also the age, which age uh, is my um, is my potential customer. Do, do I want to my do I want my customer to be which age am I targeting? Then the job title or the profession or the interest. What do, are they interested in? What is their job title? Is it a business to business or is it a business to customer? So you have to come up with these demographic ideas. What is their interest? Uh, what is their uh, trades and all that? Then you have to come with psycho psychographic information like their goals. 
what goes to the, uh, the audience want to achieve, what is the challenge that you're facing to achieve that goal, and what is their interest. Uh, so this way, when you align all your campaigns with this uh, demographic information and the psycho, psycho, psychographic information, sorry, like the goals and all that, then you can come up with a good way to reach them. And this is the way that you do is a marketing channel. Which marketing channel can you do? Remember that with different objectives comes different uh, channel. For example, if you want to increase an online reach on awareness, that if you have to look at the display, display channels like for example social media content marketing or even the 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 display the display ads like that are pop up if you want to increase more website sales you have to do the channels that will drive traffic like search engine marketing search engine optimization and also email marketing even sometimes you can also use social media on this where you now have a campaign that is driving traffic to your uh, we can use uh, social media, like for example, Facebook to drive people to your site and all that. If you want to increase traffic to website, as I've said, you can do that. If you want to, you can bring the social, social uh, search engine marketing, the search engine optimization, social media, and also email marketing. If you want, so you have to align the objective with the channel that uh, will bring my benefit to you. Then uh, you also have to choose a channel based on the audience. You may have to make a consideration of the objective, then the audience. What my target audience like? Which type of site uh, do they like? If you want to marketing strategy that attracts us on by creating variable content tailored by them, then you can uh, consider search engine marketing, search engine optimization, content marketing or blogging, organic social media marketing or even google my business but if you want an outbound that is marketing strategy that pushes messages to potential customers this is where you do the advertising the paid ads the email marketing the paid social media ads the affiliation marketing and all that so this way that you can now come up with a channel that will help you come up with the best uh maximum maximize your your plan then after you coming up with the audience and also you remember you have looked at the objective and goals, the audience and the channel tools, then you have to plan your activity as well. You have to list, uh, you have to plan your activity. For example, do I have a Google My Business to do the search engine optimization and search engine uh, campaigns and all that? No, I don't have. So what do I do? I have first to list my business on Google My Business and create a free website. If I don't have a website, then what do I do? I set up a Facebook page to collect reviews and post pictures and also to do one uh, to, to dive traffic to my site that I have created. After this, what do you do? Then I use the social media and the Google My Business and I go Google Ads to advertise and target people on the location that I want to do and also attract new customers. So you have to come up with a planned activity from the start to the stop. As in from the time you want to interact to the introduction to the conversion, you have to come up with a clear path of the plan. And then you have to come up with a smart KPIs. By smart, we can say that is a, you can use it as a synonym to specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and a time sensitive uh, KPI. And by KPI is the key, key performance indicators. For example, if you want to increase online sales by 20%, so you have to come up with a key performance indicator. If you are Performance indicator is increased online. Don't just say, I want, I want to increase the online sales. That is not a smart KPI. You have to say that. You have to be specific. I want to increase my online sales by 20%. You have to be attainable. Don't say you want by 120% and it's not attainable. By 20% attainable, relevant. Is it relevant? Can you be able to do that? And then you have to be time sensitive within three months or for the next one month. So you have to give to about your time and also come up with a plan that will give you a way that uh, it will help you now match with the smart KPIs. Let's look at a uh, digital marketing plan. For example, I have a business goal of reaching more people in my local area or getting people to visit my business through uh, many channels. So what do I do? I want audience. The audience I want is a female because I'm a son. For example, Crystal is a salon uh, she has a salon a beauty shop and so one people she target is females 
that are that night for five years, those are half money. You know that we, it's according to the budget, like the way I sell my products and my services. I knew that this age only, for example, she can say someone who is already earning from 25 to even 60 years already, and they are from local areas and they are past customers or the new customers. Then what can I do? You have to consider the, uh, the channel. One thing is I have to create a Google My Business site, then do the local search agent optimization. Then I can also use social media like Instagram, Facebook, and, and also WhatsApp to interact with them. So you have come up with the business goal, the audience, and the channel. Then you have to plan your activity. One thing I have to build a website uh, through my Google My Business uh, site, a simple website first to do it, to help me get visible on Google. Then I have to create a page on Facebook and use Facebook advertising to target people in the local area. So if I that she has planned her activity, then the next thing is to come up with an objective. The objective is to increase my online reach, to increase returning or to increase customers, uh, working in customers. So I have to increase my online reach. So that is the objective. And this objective, remember, it's bringing the goals. It's aiming at it helping you achieve the goal of getting more customers through the door, walking through the door. Then have to, she has to come up with a smart objective. So one thing she can say that is, uh, I want to increase Facebook page likes from people, from new people by 50% within the next one month. So she will do all her campaigns to drive traffic to the website. She can, she can also come up with that. I want to increase bookings for the past customers by 20% in the next quarter. So you find that it's coming time bound, it's smart, it's specific, uh, measurable, attainable, also time bound and relevant. So with these six steps, you can build a digital marketing strategy. So you say that uh, the six steps are usually the business goal and activity, then budget and resources. You have to look at the audience, decide which channel, then plan your activity, and then have uh, you measure your, your goal or your objective through the smart KPIs. That is smart, the specific, measurable, attainable, and relevant, and also time-powered objectives. Up to that point, I have uh, I'll pause for that question and see on the chat box who are engaging us. I also want to see how people are interacting with my moderator here, Crystal Alice, and uh, she'll be with me because I've used her as an example. Maybe she, if she, if I were her, I would now consider having a salon because I've advised, advertised her here. So Steinberg Lua, sincerely speaking, this is the first one I'm watching. That is why I didn't need to know where to stand since now I have time. So this is now a way I can uh, tell you. First thing, stand back. You can just click subscribe button. You just click subscribe button, and we do regular trainings on each and every topic. And with the sub, when you have subscribed, you can now get notified by a topic that you have not covered. For example, if this topic was not clear, well understood by you, you can watch it again, and you get a notification uh, when the, we are coming to that topic, and you can attend there without really necessarily having to request for a permission. So hit the subscribe button, one thing. Then the second thing is you can follow us on social media. And this is where we are coming. So uh, I will direct you on how you can follow us on social media and also get more information. So first thing uh, I, uh, I can tell you, I can also advise you, stand back, Rua is, uh, to sign up for Google Mentorship, a mentorship program by Google, where you can also get assigned to a Google Mark, a digital marketing specialist from Google, who will hard hold you and also mentor you on one-on-one -on -one basis, and also interact with you and give you advices and also coachings on how you can improve your skills. And you can just visit the mentorship channel or mentorship link that my moderator have shared on the screen. And when you visit there, you sign up, you fill the form and the Google will contact you. And this way you'll be able now to even get more specific and personalized coaching. The next step you have can take is, uh, remember that uh, this uh, session was just for one topic and it was an hour and a topic which I just stated the tip of the iceberg. 
you can learn more and get diverged into the deeper learnings with our marketing uh, or training tools that we have by visiting learndigital.withgoogle.com where you can get more courses in different topics and different a variety of um, uh, skills that you can learn there. So when you visit there, you can sign up there and you are able to access more uh, uh, more trainings and also more materials that can help you sharpen your skills. Then, Lua, another way you can find us is on social media. And this you can find us on social media through our Facebook page. That is uh, Learn uh, Digital Skills. On Facebook, we find us at Digital Skills for Africa. My moderator will be sharing that link with you on the chat box. Also, you can find us on Twitter, that is Digital Skills AF. And also on Instagram at Digital Skills AF. Also, my moderator will be giving you all those links, and uh, you can just chat the ask box. You can request, give us feedback, and also remember, my moderator will be sharing a feedback form where you can feel the feedback on how the team you have felt the team was, where you want us to improve, and where what you have benefited with our with our training and remember this feedback will help us now improve our trainings and also make sure that uh, the content that you are giving is better improved according to the to your review so then up to that point also remember to sign up for participation certificates my model my moderator will be sharing that link with you and uh, when you sign up that will get your uh, particip participation certificate within uh, two weeks uh, from now. And this way you can use that certificate and also remain relevant with it. So up to that point, uh, that marks the end of our session today. I thank you very much for having an engaging and also having an interactive session with you. You have made this session more interactive and more and better. If it were not for you, we couldn't have had a session. Remember, I thank you very much uh, for keeping, uh, for staying for that one hour and uh, some 20 minutes past when uh, attending to us is not just a simple task. And also, thank you very much. Have a nice day and also have a very successful weekend ahead. Bye.